Cooper Cup as well? Oh, like, maybe. It, it, are the Chiefs just automatically going to be like, if Cooper Cup is allegedly available? Now, here's Cooper Cup talking yesterday in a press conference after there was rumors about him potentially being available for trade. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm aware of it, but at the end of the day, I mean, I, I'm going to be where my, my feet are. That's, um, that's all I know. Um, you know, I have a job to do here, and, um, you know, I, have, I take a lot of pride in giving everything I can for the guys in this building and um, being able to step on the field knowing that I've prepared the best I can. And, um, you know, for seven and a half years, I've been an L.A. Ram, and I've taken that approach every single day. And, you know, whatever happens outside of that, you know, I've, I got control what I can control, and, uh, right now, that means being the best LA Ram that I can be, and I'm going to continue to do that. Have the Rams spoken with you or your representatives about the possibility of trading you? Yeah, nothing really. No, um, you know, it's, it's, it is that time of the year. Um, there's going to be rumors and things that go around, and um, like I said, I let that stuff as much as I can be in the background, and like I said, just kind of handle my business. Okay, so a lot of things in there uh, kind of saying, like, if I uh, might, yeah, been here seven and a half years. Obviously, I focus for the guys in this locker room, in this organization, be where my feet are, do the best I can. Didn't say he wanted to be traded by any means. Didn't say he thought he was going to get traded, but certainly said, like, it's a possibility. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Like, is how he chatted about it. And DeAndre Hopkins gets traded yesterday. Devontae Adams gets traded last week. Amari Cooper gets traded last week. It seems like if you were a team that was looking for a wide receiver, Cooper Cup might be the guy you're trying to get. Let's go to Hammer, Don, Todd. Tongue digs, are Pittsburgh Steelers going to get Cooper Cup or what's, uh, what's well, happening, brother? I want him so bad, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> I want him so bad. We keep doing this. Everybody else is getting wide receivers. Why can't we get a wide receiver? Maybe now that Russ is a quarterback, maybe that is in maybe a, a more – Intriguing place for these wide receivers to go, even though it's not always their decision. But I know guys who have been with teams for a long time, and, and they, they want to do right by by the player in, in a lot of these situations. But Cooper Cup, like we've talked about, is a is a second quarterback on the field at the wide receiver position. He shows up at 6 a.m. in the facility every day. Like, not only is he going to be great for any team that he goes to, like the Steelers and a lot of a lot of these wide receiver rooms, like they're young. Like he would just be great for the the wide receiver room and the entire offense, obviously going forward. But yeah, I mean, Cooper Cup is, um, he's, he's an absolute, he, the game before he got hurt, what he had like 20 targets and like 14 catches, like he's a stud when he's on the field. Yes, he is injury prone a bit the last three years. So, so is D-Hop, so is a lot of these guys. That's why they're they're potentially being traded. But yeah, I want Cooper Cup bad. Okay, so Pittsburgh Steelers <laughs> were allegedly in it to the 11th hour with Brandon mm -hmm. Ayuk, even had a $30 million offer on the table, allegedly for Brandon Ayuk, and that was scoffed at. Yeah, <laughs> no big deal. Seemingly, it was on the table for a while. So the Pittsburgh Steelers were in the wide receiver market looking for a wide receiver too. With the explosion of George Pickens alongside Russell Wilson this past weekend on primetime, uh, is that going to change how they address it? Will they try to go get this Cooper Cup deal done, which is allegedly like a second round pick, but uh, Rams are willing to pay it down. Hopkins just went for a fifth. Cooper was, what, a third or a fourth or something like that mm -hmm. with a fifth and a sixth option in yep. there. Devontae was a third. So I don't know if you're going to get a second for Cooper Cup, but I think the market has kind of set itself up for what it is. These wide receivers seemingly, if you can handle their contract, in contract and salary cap gymnastics is certainly possible for any team. But if draft compensation hasn't been much no, for these guys. At all. And it continues to baffle me, Con Man. Yeah, it's ridiculous. And especially just because like the guys we're talking about. Like we're not talking about bums. Like DeAndre Hopkins, there there was the stat that came out, you know, in twenty seventeen, Hunt was the leading rusher, D Hop was the leading receiver of the most touchdowns in Kelsey. And now they're all on the same team. With Cooper Cup, I want the Steelers to get him so bad because Tony's been white knuckling for a wide receiver Thank for you, so damn long. But a team like the Commanders would be awesome just because they have Terry McLaurin. They were in the market for Ayuk and a couple other guys. They have the cap space. And you think about what a wide receiver like Cooper Cup could do for a Jaden Daniels. Like, could you imagine Cliff Kingsbury, who, you know, in that tree with McVay in them, with a Cooper Cup, Terry McLaurin, obviously they got the run game going now. Like, the Washington Commanders are in it with the money. They have Jaden Daniels. They can win right now. We always talk about that rookie contract. Like, Cooper Cup going over there would be incredible. And then you obviously have to think about, like, a team like the Ravens, where they see everybody else in the AFC making moves. Cooper goes to the Bills. They're at the top of the division. Hopkins goes to the Chiefs. They're at the top of the division. Or, excuse me, conference. Why wouldn't, you know, the Ravens try and make a move, add somebody? Well, that's why you talk about, like, the draft compensation. Like, all these teams who are trading for these guys have – 
like visions of going and playing in the Super Bowl. So you talk about like, oh, they're given a, a fourth round pick that could become a third round pick. Like they're thinking like, hey, we're going to be drafting in like the last three to five picks of the draft anyway. So that fourth round pick is really what like an early fifth round pick. Like it just makes sense. We're not talking about any of these guys going for a top ten pick or a top fifteen pick. It's going to be a pick at the end of the draft anyway. And we've heard all these people talking more and more about the draft. It's like, hey, once you get past those first fifteen picks, like the difference difference between a first round pick and a second round pick like those lines blur big time so why wouldn't you do it if you actually have a window right now and you feel like you can go win a super bowl maybe he's calling the colts well i didn't even think about that that would make sense cooper cop calling the colts that'd be a good time colts and commanders don't make sense Turn. You, you have an AP you, vote. You can't just you, say stuff that is clearly biased because well, you're a Steelers. Well, no, fan. it just because uh, you guys already have Alec Pierce, uh, Luke McCaffrey's already on the Commanders. It just doesn't make sense. Okay, okay. there isn't a white. <laughs> There's more than there, one there white isn't receiver. a cap on how many whites are allowed he to have playing wide point. receivers. Oh, shut up! He makes a good <laughs> point. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Uh, Colts would be a good landing spot. I think there's a lot of fan bases that are thinking to themselves: Can we get Cooper Cup for a fourth round pick? Can we get Cooper yeah. Cup for a Third round pick, mm-hmm. just staying at a third Not round pick. Not paying anything. And it's like, is he going to be able to be healthy? That's certainly something you have to look into. I think he was very durable for a long time there and then potentially got unlucky. Does that mean it's going to continue to get unlucky? It was a hamstring thing, right? That he went over to Minnesota. Yeah, and a foot. Mm-hmm. He's had he's a had couple real had ones. A number of, yeah, throughout his career, that's kind of been his thing. Now, obviously, we all remember the triple crown year, you know, leading in the unbelievable run he had in the playoffs. And when he's healthy, he can do everything. He can block. He can run the deep routes. He can obviously run the option routes. And, all, and you mentioned another quarterback on the field. That's huge. For the commanders probably make the most sense right now. Now, after Connor laid that out, I, I would love him with young Jaden Daniels out there with that offense. Obviously, you got speedy Terry Mack on the outside, but um, I would love him with the commies. Well, and also with what the commies have been able to accomplish without him. So if he yeah. does get injured or he's yeah. not playing, it's like you're exactly. in a good spot. But if you're like the Pittsburgh Steelers, it's like, hey, our offense is potentially just getting started to be good. You can find a role here quick. Mm-hmm. You can find mm-hmm. and be at home here quick. Then if he gets injured, now you're in a – now you're in a tough spot. Cliff Kingsbury's been able to draw up. Jaden Daniels. <laughs> yeah. What What is going on? It's filthy. C.J. Stroud into Jaden Daniels. Is this just going to happen now? And is everybody else going to stink? Like, what is no, the – No, well, not everybody else. No, I, I wouldn't go that far. I, I think <laughs> the quarterbacks at the top of the draft as of late are pretty damn good. I mean, who knows? Bryce Young might go somewhere next year and light the world on fire. But if you're the number two team, you kind of have to Maybe. take a quarterback now. Yeah. No matter what. Yeah, you're right. Jaden Daniels is so good. Is he going to be okay? I know his mom said he's fine. Yeah, he's I fine. I think so. If I his mom we're... says that, he's fine. <laughs> Commander head coach Dan Quinn said quarterback Jaden Daniels will be considered week to week. That's, it. That's not good. Week to week. He's fine. Mariota's spinning it. So, I mean, if I'm the commies, I'm not worried about a damn thing because you got a big oot in the back. Yeah, so you're saying, and he's obviously found a great home in Cliff Kingsbury's offense. Um, but what you're saying is Jaden Daniels gets dropped in the starting lineup as a rookie early, has immediate success, never gets an opportunity to just kind of watch maybe. Yeah, you sit know, back. What he's allowed to do. Mark Mariota maybe walking into a meeting room going, we're not running this play. Mm-hmm. We're not running this play. Cliff Kingsbury saying, you are running this place. <laughs> do you know what our offense has been doing? And Mark Mariota goes, okay, hey, Jane, you're allowed to do that every once in a while, even though it might not be right. <laughs> and, uh, you know, in the, You can do that. If I did, you can do that, he, yeah. he's not listening. You see, you're allowed to say these things. In the cafeteria, <laughs> we don't like the food, okay? Your quarterback's allowed to say, hey, nobody's really... Eating any of this, right? Isn't that kind of a you're allowed to do those types of things as a quarterback for a team? If Jaden Daniels isn't playing, I know we like Marcus Mariota. I'm one of his biggest fans. Love him. Yeah. I just walked down Mariota Hall over there in Oregon. So right. cool. Beautiful. So, so all his trophies. So many trophies. The thing I mean, on the roof. Him. Yeah. Him. On the roof. Like I have massive respect. Wow. But I would like to watch Jaden Daniels continue to play football. Yeah. So we need that rib to <laughs> Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Or just get rid of it. Take it out. Yep. Yeah, because people have done that in the past, right? Yeah. yeah. Fix his elbow. Remember, yeah, well, his elbow's just fine. It just looks weird. Yeah, fix it with the rib. Just build, put the rib on the, oh, butt, to, on the tricep to just connect the two so he's got a mega arm. 